All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Hey guys, what's going on? Steve here from Color Co. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. We actually got this idea from ADHD's World. Go check out his channel below, I'll link it. Um, basically, we're gonna be hydro dipping a bunch of really cool weapons, a couple nice swords, some fixed blades, and then this awesome spiked baton. It's gonna be really fun, so let's get right to it. All right, so the first step is we have to tape off the parts of our blades and our weapons that we don't want the hydro dip to get on. So for example, on the Spartan sword, we're gonna tape off the handle, mostly just the handles, honestly. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's do that. So we actually on these two fixed blades are gonna just tape the middle part of the handle. We're not gonna tape this off. So there should, or some color should get on the bottom here as well. All right, so we're all taped up. Let's go hit them with some primer. All right, so we're here at our priming station. Um, we're just gonna hit each of these with just one coat. Uh, they should be ready in about 10 to 15 minutes. We're using this Rust-Oleum fast drying primer from Metal. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's do it. Time to give them the old flipperoo. Alright John, so while those are drying, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be filling this big tub with water. This big boy right here. Oh, it's a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> Missed. Missed. <laughs> Holy smokes. There we go. Give it a couple minutes. All right, so we're starting with our M16 bayonet fixed blade. We're gonna do this crazy digi camo pattern on it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna cut it to size and hopefully it goes well. Next, we're gonna tape the edges so that the film lays flat on the water. All right, so we're all taped up. Now it's time to get this thing in the tub. Here we go. There we go, and I think we wait like what, like 60 seconds? something like that um, let it soak for a bit and then we add the the activator and hopefully uh, we'll have some cool looking knives got to put on some gloves for this <laughs> always wanted to do that now let's add the activator spray All right, time to dip our first knife. Let's go for it. All right, so our first one, complete fail. So we're gonna move forward with the M48 Cyclone. Um, hopefully this one works out, the first one, didn't stick at all, so here we go. All right, so set it in the water. Hopefully it gets a nice soak. Nice and flat, as flat as we can anyways. All right, so let's apply the activator. Let's go. Okay, that kind of worked. <laughs> All right, so we're getting a little bit better. The cyclone went 
okay. Definitely didn't stick to all of it, but we did get some to stick. Um, we'll show that in another clip here. Next up, we're gonna try something a little bit bigger. This is our Thrax, Thrax, Gladius sword. Um, beast of a sword. I think the bigger surface might make it a little bit easier. We're gonna try a couple things a little different and see how it goes. Take three, here we go. Oh boy. Decent amount of air bubbles there. <laughs> Take three with the Thrax Gladius sword. Here we go. Oh, oh, close maybe. Kind of. That was better. Better. Still a little sloppy. All right, guys, so the other day we definitely messed up two or three times. We clearly were doing something wrong, but after we turned the camera off, um, we got this result. Um, we tried just one more time, and we used a little bit more activator spray. So we're hoping with our next three items that if we use a little bit more activator spray with the film that it'll we'll get better results like this. Um, this one's obviously not perfect, but it turned out pretty well, and it looks really cool. So. Yeah, here we go. All right guys, so it's a little less windy today, so we're not actually gonna be taping the edges like we did in the past couple attempts. Um, we're using this really cool blue smoke pattern and we're gonna be trying to film this bad boy, our Thrax Gladius sword. So let's get the film right into the tub. Make sure we got the right side going in. It's the, it's the matte side that'll be up, so like this. go she's in now we wait now we wait got a lot of air bubbles going on but in the videos we watched that seems pretty normal um, yeah we'll see how it goes all right so now we're gonna hit it with a good wet coat of the activator spray um, yeah there we go Looks like it's liquefying, so we should probably dip soon. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Shake it off. Okay. Look at that. Okay. There that's, we go. That's a little bit more respectable. That's better. Definitely some overlapping still up here, but overall, pretty cool. That blue smoke pattern turned out awesome. So as you guys can see, this one turned out pretty well, um, but we did miss part of the blade up here at the top. If we had more of this blue smoke pattern film, we would definitely dip it again, but we don't, unfortunately. Um, still looks really cool though. Like, that dip definitely worked a little bit better. Next up, we've got our Night Watchman Spike Tactical Mace. Um, if you haven't checked out this item on our website, it is like super cool, so go check it out. We're gonna be wrapping it in this oil slick pattern, um, kind of a rainbowy swirl. It looks it looks really cool. Hopefully it turns out well. Um, so yeah, we just gotta cut it to size first and then we'll be throwing it in. All right, so now we've got our film cut. Now it's time to bring it over and stick it in the tub. A little windier now. There we go. Let's get this air bubble out of here. All right, so it's been 90 seconds. Let's hit it with the activator spray. All 
All right, so it's already starting to liquefy. It's only been maybe like five seconds, so we're just gonna dip right away. Here we go, tactical mace, let's go. I'm gonna handle it down here. Okay, okay. I just gotta get the access get off there. Yeah, I get it. There we go. Okay. Couple spots it missed. A little bit of excess on the handle here. <laughs> but that's pretty sweet looking. That's kind of cool looking. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So that dip went really well, but on the back side it did miss a couple spots right here. Um, that's the primer that you can see, that white gray color. But overall, it looks really cool, a really cool confetti kind of oil slick texture. I really like it and hopefully on this next dip it'll be even better. Okay, that definitely covered more. I still see like one or two spots, but definitely covered more. And we can't get it to release itself sometimes, but that's starting to look pretty sweet. All right guys, so here's where we're at so far. Um, these are our first two attempts. Obviously this attempt was pretty lousy. Um, you can see a lot of primer showing through there, but the lightning pattern was really cool. We might redip this, I don't know yet. Um, this bayonet was our second attempt, but we did redip this, like I said, after, um, you know, we skipped out on the rest of the video the other day, um, and it turned out really cool. This one's probably one of our better ones so far. And then today, we've done the Thrax sword, which is right here. Um, everything looks really good except up here by the handle, which didn't get hit with the, uh, film. And then our last dip is the um, tactical mace right here, which I think is actually going to turn out really cool. Um, the color definitely got a lot darker on the second dip, but it's very colorful and really nice looking. So last one to go. Here we go. So last but not least, we've got the Honshu Spartan sword that we're going to be dipping in this really cool, I'm going to call it a galaxy sunset cloud pattern um, kind of pink purple and clouds and even some lightning here in the corner um, I think this one hopefully will be our best one hopefully we're getting better as this process goes that's the whole point of doing this to learn so yeah let's get to it So this was probably our best attempt yet. Um, definitely missed a little bit on the top here, but this pattern's just super cool. It's got like that lightning bolt up on the blade. I love how that turned out. I'm hoping when it dries, some of these small wrinkles go away, but either way, it turned out super, super cool. Two hours later. Hey guys, what's going on? So day three now, uh, these are finally dried. So now it's time for us to remove this blue painter's tape and see what we've got ourselves. Now that we've got all the tape off, uh, these are our final results. I hope you guys dig them. Let us know what you think in the comments below.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I think we're gonna do a part two of this video because I just think we learned a lot while doing this the first time, and I think we could do a ton of things better than we did. Um, you know, you've got some white spots up here where we didn't hit it, um, and I think we could avoid those issues in the next video. So yeah, let us know what you guys wanna see next. Um, go to colorco.com. Check out all the crazy blades and other weapons there, um, and let us know which things you want to see Hydro dip. All right, peace.